we've been talking about models of computation. And in particular, we've been talking about two different models of computation, which are these straight line programs. We could say x is equal to and uh, y with z. So we add statements like that in these straight line programs. And we talked about Boolean circuits, where maybe we had these gates that were meant to convey this idea of transistors doing logic or something like that. This is an AND gate here, and then maybe we have Y and Z as inputs, and then maybe the output is something kind of like that X. Straight line programs kind of behave like programming languages. Boolean circuits kind of behaved like hardware, and we talked about them being equivalent in some ways. And we explored some of the more precise definitions of what it actually means to compute with Boolean circuits. So what we're doing next is we're going to kind of expand primarily on this idea of straight line programs. So these straight line programs right now are super, super stripped down programming languages, where all you can do is Boolean logic with variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to sort of expand on these straight line programs, make them look more like programming languages that you might be familiar with, and show that none of these changes that we've made actually change anything in terms of what we are and are not allowed to compute. We're going to be kind of changing this straight line programming model to be something that looks more like Python and show that that is actually secretly the same computing model just with some extra, what we end up calling syntactic sugar. That's why we have candy on this slide today. We're going to be talking about things called syntactic sugar, which is changes that you make to a programming language that sort of change what the programming language looks like, but doesn't actually fundamentally change what it's doing. So we're not changing the compute model. We're just kind of making it nicer for humans to use, is what syntactic sugar means. So let's do a refresher of where we're at. So we have these and or not, that's what AON stands for, and or not straight line programs. We said this looks kind of like Python, where we're able to define functions that take Boolean inputs. We can do and or or not within our programs and assign those values to variables and then maybe use those variables in order to compute the value of other variables and so forth. And then eventually we'll end up returning some result. This was an example of this majority function for straight line programs. We said that majority uh, was supposed to return one if any two of the three input bits were both one. So basically, if greater than or equal to two input bits were one, then that means that the majority were ones. Otherwise, the majority weren't ones, and we want to return zero. So the way that we did this is we kind of exhaustively checked all three different pairs that might be there. We said that if the and of one pair ended up being one, that meant both of them were one. So if any of these three, so if this pair was both one, or this pair was both one, or this pair was both one, that meant the majority was one. But since we're only allowed two inputs in our definition, we had to split that or of three things into two ors of two things. And then we talked about these Boolean circuits where we had AND gates, OR gates, NOT gates. And we could have inputs that are going into these gates and outputs that are coming out of them. And we can kind of take the outputs from some gates and feed them in as the inputs to subsequent gates. And from there, we can build computations as well. So this was our other kind of hardware style compute model. We also talked about this relationship that we had between the two of them. In particular, every single variable in our straight line program becomes a gate in our Boolean circuit so that we can basically say that if I have a straight line program that's got some number of lines, so for instance, in this case, we have a five line program, that means that I can build a Boolean circuit with the same number of gates. One, two, three, four, five gates. So we had this relationship where I could convert any straight line program into a Boolean circuit, any Boolean circuit into a straight line program, and the size of one was going to match the size of the other. By our definition of how we were allowed to construct these programs, we basically said all we could do is one binary operation and then uh, assign that to a variable. 
So because of that, every single binary operation has a variable and is on its own line. So we could say that each operation is sort of a gate. We could also say each variable is sort of a gate, however you prefer to think about it. Each line is a gate, because they're based on our definition, there's going to be the same number of each of those things. Another way that we showed the equivalence between two types of programs is we showed this translation thing with NAND straight line programs and these AND or NOT straight line programs. Uh, we could take any AND or NOT straight line program and compute exactly the same function using just NANDs. So anything that we could compute using some combination of ANDs, ORs, and NOTs in our program, we could compute with just NANDs instead. And the way that we did this was we basically did some sort of translation, where if I had a NOT before, so if I wanted to do NOT A, I could convert that into NAND AA. If I wanted to do AND AB, I could convert that one line AND into these two lines that compute the same thing, but use two NANDs, but still exclusively NANDs. So we knew that anything I could do with AND or NOT programs, I could do with NAND straight line programs as well. These two are, in this sense, equivalent that any function I can, that I can implement using AND or NOT, I can implement with NAND, and any function I can implement with NAND, I can implement with AND or NOT. Today, as we're going through and trying to add our syntactic sugar to our programming language, we're going to be working with this one. Everything that we're going to do, we're going to show that it can always be converted to some NAND straight line program. So we're only going to be using NANDs. We might see ORs and NOTs and ANDs and that sort of thing along the way, but our ultimate goal is to show that all of that is just extra stuff that helps us read our code, but isn't necessary for actually expanding the power of our computing model. So our computing model is going to be NAND straight line, and we're going to show how we can take other syntactic sugar and convert that back into that very strict NAND straight line program. Let's talk a little bit about what we might be adding for our syntactic sugar. Most of us, according to our survey, are familiar with Python. Everybody need, should be familiar with at least one programming language, whether that's Python or Java. And both of those have some things that are nice for computing that these straight line programs don't currently have. What are some, what, what's some syntactic sugar that you might want your programming language to have? Yes? A for loop. If, okay? So if statements, what else? Okay, so maybe recursion. So let me do something a little bit simpler than recursion. The only reason we don't have recursion yet is because we don't have, what should I call these, subroutines. We haven't mentioned at all how I can define my own procedures or my own subroutines yet. So subroutines slash procedures. What else? What else might we want? Yes. Maybe different types. What else? Any other desires? This is everything you could ever want in a programming language. Yeah. A data structure. Okay. Yes. Okay, so inheritance, like uh, type inheritance or, or object-orientedness or something like that. Yes. Thread. Parallelism, some sort of threads or parallelism. Okay, so I think this is a good list. Uh, we're going to be talking about some of these things. We're certainly not going to be talking about all of these things. We'll talk about for loops eventually, but not today. We will talk about if statements. We will do recursion, subroutines, and procedures. And we're going to kind of do like a, a data structures type thing. So these are some of the syntactic sugar that we're going to introduce today.